yeah. this kid, and, and you know he's definitely an up and comer, and, and he's got he's, he's, he's got well rounded skills. Thirteen to seventeen years old, he was sponsored by Pal, getting ready to go to pro. And then Brandon was an awesome skater. We had heard all kinds of things about him being on drugs, and we couldn't believe it because he was such a great skateboarder. You know he's gonna be he's gonna be one of the next guys. And... I'm not Through the years, various rumors and sightings and things, and it didn't sound like he was doing very well. His thing being heroin made him a little gnarlier. And then there were all the stories of the various things he did for heroin. I think the saddest part about Brandon's life in that had he maintained his skating through the sort of dead years, when things came up again, he would have been in his prime. You know, he'd have been in, in his early 20s, ready to go and, and ready friend. to make a mark. And, and yeah, he's friends with Bam, and he's good looking, and you know, it would have been like, he could have, he could have really made a career out of it. And then a couple years later, a horrible event was when his brother found him living in Baltimore City in a homemade hobo house. That was heart-wrenching. And what did you do? As a matter of fact, I went and bought two uh, cemetery plots. One for me and one for Brandon, because I said, you know, who else is going to bury Brandon but me? I just pray. I tell him, Brandon, please, I'm not going to get any younger. Please straighten your life out before I go so that I can go gently into the good night.